Hi everyone. One of the things you're going to be taking home at the end of the club is this LED strip. Uh, there are five LEDs uh, meant to be detached from this case that it's in, and they have holes in them you can put conductive thread through and sew into your clothing. So if you make clothes or one of your parents makes clothes, then you can make some projects that uh, uh, you, you can program lights to light up in whatever pattern you want. So I'm going to take you through a quick project to uh, show how to hook them up to the circuit playground. Um, so we have these alligator clips which come with the, uh, the kit which will also be taken home. Uh, each bundle of them has about know, 10 quarts um, and they're different uh, colors. Uh, generally um, black is used for the negative side or the ground side of a connection. Um, I'm not an electronics person by, uh, by trade, so I'm gonna know a little bit about the science behind it. Um, but uh, for choosing colors, it's just a convention. Um, so there's, there's no scientific reason for it. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is on the circuit playground board, we have uh, G and D in a few different places. That means ground. It's one there, one there, one over here. Um, so I'm going to open the pins and put them in the hole thusly. And then we're going to connect them to the LED that we want to light up. Um, the ground pin is going to connect uh, where the minus sign is on the left side. Um, there we go. And then you can choose uh, which pin you want to use for power on the board. Um, 12 and 6 work. What else works? Uh, 2, 3, and 0. So there's 0, 2, and 3. So I'm just going to do uh, 12 for this test. And nothing should come on yet until we write some code. Um, so what we want to do is refer to pin 12. Actually, why don't we start by plugging in the board. Alright, now it's in demo mode, and if I run a blank program, that'll take it out of demo mode. Okay, I want to go to Maker. I'm going to set the pen mode of the pen I want to write with, and I chose pen 12. And the modes you can choose from are output and analog. Output is the one that we want. I'm going to write on pin 12 the value 1, which should, if I have everything hooked up right, turn the light on. There we go. Um, so now the uh, there's power going through that, so I can touch it to any LED and we can watch what happens. Let's take you off. using the, uh, the button on the board, or one of the two buttons. Um, let's start with going over to circuit. I want to do onboard event, and all of our stuff is going to happen inside the function. Uh, so that it defaults to what we want, button left, down, and that should be good. So let's run that. And then let's see which of these is the left button. There we go. Alright, so it's just going to turn it on only. Uh, so we want to toggle it now. Um, so we need a variable that's going to control whether we're writing a 1 or a 0 to the board and then flip it. Um, so let's go to variables. And let's call this one value. And we'll start it at uh, zero. And then when we click our button, we want to flip what it's set to. So we want to set value to be one minus value. Oops, one minus value. So 
if the value was zero, one minus zero is gonna be one. So that'll toggle the value instead of one. When it's already one, one minus one will be zero, so it'll go back. Uh, so that's just a quick way to flip between one and zero. And that should, if I've done this right, no, what's wrong? Oh, I'm just setting it to one. Let's try again. So it's good to know that you can make mistakes when you program. Everybody does. I've been doing this 20 years and I still make mistakes every day. But you can look at what you've written and figure out what's wrong. So don't get discouraged when things don't work the first time. You just keep trying to work the problem. Do, do, do. All right, what is the problem now? Maybe it doesn't like the word value. Maybe my connections aren't good anymore. Let's try another variable name. Let's just try val. Sometimes you can reserve the words or JavaScript will want to use that word to mean something. And, oh, that too. And then uh, code.org doesn't always know about it. Let's try one more time. That was it. Didn't like the word value. Okay. So now, why don't we hook up some more cables and have both buttons do something different. So I'm gonna grab another black cable and hook up another ground. trouble with these alligator clips the first time through. Or the hundredth time through. I think that's good. And let's see, let's do a two. A blue cable on two. And if you just choose any of the pin numbers I've listed in the little text file in the bottom right, that should be good enough for you. All right, I think that's wires here. All right, so we have uh, pin two is my other pin. So let's do another variable. I'll call you blue. Let's change you to red so it stays the same. Same pattern for both. So you're going to be red. another function or another board event for the other button. Do button right. And we want to do kind of the same thing there. But we're going to say red and blue. Plus one minus blue. And then Actually, we only need to do this once at the beginning. This shows how you can use Circuit Playground to connect to an external device and send power to it. Um, what we can also do is connect two boards together. No. What we can also do is connect two boards together and uh, have them talk to each other. Uh, so the next video will show the um, the Cylon thing that we, we programmed uh, just with the canvas earlier. Um, so I'm going to have it light up the LEDs on the circuit playground and then use connections kind of like this to talk to the other circuit playground and have them decide whose turn it is to go. So look for that and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.